cool. Hey, how's it going? Back again for another review. I uh, got really good feedback from the, the last two that I did, so I think I'm gonna stick to it. I think I'm gonna do one every day this week and keep, keep getting into it and, and trying to give as much expertise as I can on the topic. A lot of people are asking for me to go a little bit more in depth, so I think that's really neat to do. Um, so I'll, I'll start doing that. Uh, but for today, I've got another craft review. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about this one. It kind of caught my eye at the store, surprised me. I hadn't seen this one before. Uh, so yeah, I, I, y'all know how this goes. Uh, I've got a nice clean glass. In fact, the particular glass for this beer. Um, so I went ahead and rinsed that out, make sure it's nice and clean. Uh, and for the big reveal, Uh, Heineken in the one pint eight ounce so 24 ounces I hadn't seen this before it's a pretty large beer in fact that's why I got it I was very surprised that they even made beer this big so uh, this might be one of my favorite things to do is to find find these beers these classics and and get them in the large size because they're great in 12 ounces and just imagine how good they are this big. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and show you the can. Again, take the label into consideration because this is a fantastic label. Uh, I know most of it's just silver because the can's silver, but it's got a good green oval, uh, the name right there on it, and of course the glass that goes along with it. Uh, just, just a total perfect beer. And I'm outside today, uh, it's a beautiful day. Figured I'd let you see my my lawn. It's a little, grass is getting kind of long, but that's okay. It's still a nice day for a beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this top and it's got a nice green, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a nice green tab on there. So we'll pop it. Ah, this one's got a lot of carbonation, you can tell just from that hiss. Cool, so we'll go ahead and we'll dose this one out again, tilt the glass so you're not getting too much uh, disturbance and pour it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Perfect head. Uh, I didn't, I've had, th I've had this beer before and it's, I gotta say, that's the best looking beer that we've done so far, uh, in this review series and tip series. I should probably give a little bit more expertise during these reviews because I do, we have quite a bit. So, uh, let's start off with a look. It is, there's a lot of a lot of grass out here, so it's gonna make it look a little greener than, actually it kinda looks orange. Uh, but it's gonna look a little bit greener because there's grass in the background. Uh, nice sunlight so I can get a good crystal clear view. Uh, it is clear, you would expect that from a uh, Stella. And give it a smell. This is a huge head, it's got a ton of head on it. This is, it's really impressive. Yeah, it's got, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have that, that skunkiness that people say. A lot of times people talk about it being skunked. I don't get that at all. It smells really nice. It smells clean. It smells like it's going to be very drinkable, uh, really refreshing. It's perfect for a day like this. Yeah, enough talking about it. Uh, let's go ahead and, and take a sip. Always want to take a full, full mouthful every time just to get the full flavor of the beer. Wow. Again, that's a, you know, I hate to say it, but two, two world-class beers in a row. This is turning out to be a pretty good review uh, show, if you ask me. And this, and that's exactly what it is. It's a world-class beer made, brewed in Holland. Uh, I didn't know that. I thought it was brewed in Germany. Anyways, just as good. Uh, crisp, leaves the palate. Uh, light in the body it's got that good carbonation like i said earlier you could hear from the the tab being popped mm. and the nose on it is just just faint enough to where you want to you want to keep smelling it go in for another sip and look at that that's all head in there that's not even beer 
that's perfect. So, I would say this might be this is probably the best beer that I've reviewed so far. It's hard to beat the Ziegenbach and of course Coors. I got a couple of them over here, um, but fantastic beer. Uh, I think honestly I could do another review of this beer. There's so much I could say about it. I do really like this large format, the format can. Uh, I'm going to continue to seek out stuff that's over 12 ounces because honestly that's not it's not enough beer to get a taste for the beer that's in there. You really want to you you want to enjoy it for for more than just 12 ounces, but also it's, you know, you want to get a buzz. So let's make sure that we keep doing these. Uh, I actually did purchase a couple other craft uh, offerings. I've got them in my fridge. So we'll be doing one, you know, tomorrow and then the next day. But I think you'll be uh, pretty excited to see what I've got lined up for the rest of the week. There's some there's some big hitters out there. You know, Heineken, it's a crowd favorite. It's a classic, uh, you know, top tier craft beer. But I've got some special stuff that the, the beer geeks and the beer nerds will go, go crazy for. So let's go ahead and pour it again. Um, I really like that, that glass. Hmm. Take a look. Look at that. That's just that is craft beer. Hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I don't know what else I could say. Um, this is, you know, this gets, this gets an A in my book as far as beer goes. It's something that I definitely want to drink all the time. Uh, now that they have them in 24 ounces, who knows, maybe they'll be in, in the 40 ounce soon. Um, or maybe they already have 40 ounces, I don't know. But I would like to get a hold of one of those uh, and, and drink it. And maybe I'll do the review of that one as well. Because it does change the taste. You've got, you know, so much l more liquid in here that you're going to affect the taste of the final product and uh and it's much more enjoyable so with that i'll uh i'll send off and uh let's all drink a little bit more cheers <laughs>